All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you boop, with my September 2015 update video for, you guessed it, September 2015. Woo. So yeah, um, as always with my monthly update videos, we're going to be going over some YouTube stuff as well as some personal life stuff. But before we begin, i got to mention some things. So, um, the chair that I'm sitting on right now is, has a bit of a squeaking problem, so apologies beforehand. Um, I kind of got it locked in a nice little position to where little back and forth movement and stuff like that doesn't really make it squeak as much but uh, it may come out in the uh, in the audio so I'm just giving you guys a heads up beforehand so apologies and uh, another thing is um, I'm I typically f uh, record these uh, update videos on my Sony Alpha 5100 camera but the uh, the difference between this video and my other stuff is uh, I'm using the uh, big lens that I normally use for photography so that's the uh, SEL 18-200 lens, so, and I also have a, uh, a lens filter on it as well, so um, the thing about the lens filter is it's a, uh, it's what's called a polarized uh, lens filter, so it's a lot like uh, polarized sunglasses, to where you don't see like glare on the water or anything like that, and uh, as a bespeckled YouTuber, um, I've noticed that it reduces a lot of glare in my glasses, and that's why in a lot of my videos, especially like these little updated videos, you don't see me with my glasses on just because I take them off because you know you get a lot of glare and stuff. But with the uh, the polarized lens filter, it reduces it. You can still see a little bit of glare depending on how I'm looking at the camera, but uh, it's greatly reduced and it's not nearly as distracting as it used to be. So if you're a, a bespeckled YouTuber like myself, it's definitely an, a worthy investment. So check them out. But enough talking shop. Let's uh, get ahead with these uh, these YouTube updates, shall we? So got my notes off to the side here. So we'll just kind of look through and uh, go through the uh, the bullet points here. So first up is my trip to uh, Enoshima. So I took the uh, the Shonan Enoshima monorail out to visit my friend Zach and uh, a bunch of other YouTubers as well. And uh, I just recorded. A uh, kind of a long clip of my travels through uh, the Shonen Enoshima monorail. So uh, that's going to be coming out uh, about a couple weeks, probably when I get back home. But more on that later. And uh, it's just going to be a nice, quiet little video, just kind of kind of reminiscent of my uh, San Diego train ride videos. If you guys have seen them, check them out. So it's going to be uh, that. And uh, next up on the list is my Yokosuka neighborhood tour. So, um, I've done neighborhood tours before out here in uh, Yokosuka, Japan, but this will be my last one before I head out, so I'm um, going to make it count, you know, just kind of kind of one for the road, as they say. So, there's that. And next up is archives. So, um, over the years, I've been out in Japan for like almost two and a half years now. And I've recorded a lot of different stuff, and most of it has made it on YouTube already, but there's a couple things that just didn't quite make the cut for whatever reason. Maybe, you know, it was just stuff that didn't really initially work out. And I figure, you know, since I'm going to be leaving soon, you know, I'll try to put it together in some manner to uh, make it fit. And uh, maybe make like a lost vlog episode or something like that. So, uh, different things that I got up here. Um, my visit to Namcha Town out in Ikebukuro, and more specifically, Ice Cream City. So, um, for those of you who've been watching uh, the J Vlog scene for some time, you'll know that um, a lot of the early J Vloggers, like Tokyo Kuni and the late great Roger Swan, visited this place called Ice Cream City, and it was basically like a, an ice cream emporium. But uh, it also has a lot of different uh, exotic flavors, and by exotic I mean like weird or strange. So like uh, it has like your normal ice cream flavors, but also has like uh, snake, cow tongue, squid, octopus, curry flavored, just all kinds of weird like flavors you wouldn't normally associate with uh, with ice cream. So um, I decided to check it out and. Just kind of give like a uh, an updated version of uh, Ice Cream City compared to how it was with the uh, the old school J vloggers. So um, I recorded it on my cell phone about two years ago, so the quality's a little, mm, but uh, it'll still be kind of interesting to see just uh, how much has changed from you know then to now ish. <laughs> so it was that. 
And next on the list is my tour of Akihabara. So um, I've done uh, tour videos of Akiba before, but uh, they were on my cell phone and the quality was, you know, again, kind of so-so. But uh, this time it was with my then new uh, Sony CX430V camcorder, which has the, you know, built-in stabilization and stuff like that. So it reduces a lot of the shakes and it makes for a, uh, a much smoother video. So uh, that's gonna be coming out fairly soon as well as uh, some extra bits from my real-life Shenmue video that I recorded a couple years back. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I recorded a tribute video to the late, great Roger Swan, and it was basically like a five-year anniversary video to one of his uh, earlier Tokyo Swan videos, where he visited uh, Yokosuka and did stuff like that. So I tried to, as best I could at the time, recreate recreate a uh, shot for shot part for uh, his video, just kind of compare and contrast the different uh, places that he visited and just how it stands up, you know, five years later. So yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be coming out very soon. Um, but basically, like when I recorded it, um, there was a lot of extra stuff that just didn't quite make the cut, you know, just a lot of a lot of little bits and pieces here on bass and stuff like that. So I'm hoping to uh, put them together to, and uh, make like a lost video or something like that. Just just to see, you know, some extra bits. So, um, and the last one from the archives is an acoustic demo. So um, I bought some parts for my acoustic guitar and I wanted to do like a uh, compare and contrast or like a before and after kind of video just to see how these parts affect the tone and stuff like that and uh, you know I bought all these different parts but only I can only use like two of them so I was a little disappointed so I ended up shelving it for a bit but I decided to kind of you know cobble it together and make some sense of a video and it'll be a nice little lost vlog for you guys to enjoy if anything so definitely check it out so um, next up on the list are my last videos out here in Japan so I went to the summer YouTube J vlog J vlogger meetup, and uh, it was out in uh, Tokyo Sport Club or Tokyo Sport Cafe or Club or something like that. But anyway, it was out in uh, Roppongi in Tokyo, and I uh, met up with a lot of different YouTubers. You know, a lot of up and coming guys. You know, people I've met before and hung out with, as well as you know the the more famous YouTubers. You know, <laughs> the ones with all the subscribers and you know stuff like that. So. Um, did some bits with them and stuff like that, so that's going to be coming out very soon, depending on my moving schedule and whatnot. I'm going to try to get it out as fast as I can, but you know how things go. So um, definitely, definitely check that one out because you know it's, it was a lot of fun going there, and uh, it was uh, a good way to send me off in style. You know, going back to the states and. Uh, Next video up is uh, my move from Japan back to Ohio, which uh, at the time of this recording hasn't been uh, recorded yet because I'm obviously still here in, uh, in Yokosuka, Japan. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be uh, recording, you know, my last little moments in Japan, you know, me clearing out my apartment and stuff like that, which I'm going to start doing once, uh, once I'm done with this video. And uh, yeah, it's going to be like my... You know, my chronicling of, you know, packing up my apartment, like I said, as well as, you know, the flight back to the States and getting out of the military and stuff like that. So, um, I'll talk about that more in the personal section, but uh, it's definitely going to be an uh, interesting, uh, very emotional experience for sure. And, uh, you know, on <clears throat> going off of that, um, there's going to be a new focus for my channel because, you know, a lot of you guys know me as, you know, the guy that talks about the Navy stuff, you know, the Navy guy, or, you know, talk, so the guy that talks about uh, Japan stuff, you know, the Japan guy. So, um, I'm not really going to be doing so much of that anymore. I'm, I'll still talk about the Navy and Japan and stuff like that from time to time, but that's not going to be the main focus of my channel, so... Uh, what I plan on doing, at least for the time being, is going back to more of the uh, A Life in Video series, which is basically what Andy, Japan Andy Japandi is, but it's more Japan-centric rather than just, you know, whatever. So, I'll be showing off a lot of things, not only in my hometown of Slyne, Ohio, 
but also in Kalamazoo, Michigan, where I'm going to be going to college at, at Western Michigan. Waster. <laughs> so um, definitely look forward to that. And I also want to do like some road trips and things like that, just to show you guys uh, different parts of Michigan, different parts of Ohio, you know, go up to Chicago or something for the weekend, just, you know, have fun and uh, kind of see the differences in Chicago between, you know, when I first went out there back in 2010, when I was uh, just getting out of boot camp and stuff versus now, you know, over five years later, actually. So it'll be a real trip. And it'll also be a nice little uh, fun trip through memory lane, you know, getting some Chicago deep, sh deep dish style pizza. Good stuff. And stuff like that. And maybe I'll do uh, road trips where I go a bit further out, but uh, I'll have to wait for the summer for stuff like that if it's even possible, you know depending on money situations and stuff like that so uh, we'll see what happens and uh, uh, like I said um, I'm gonna be shifting my focus from you know the Japan stuff and the Navy stuff to you know more travel style videos and things like that but um, just because I'm gonna be shifting my focus to that doesn't mean I won't talk about Japan or the Navy at all um, and I'm also you know really seriously uh, thinking about bringing back NFAX and just kind of doing a like a life after the Navy kind of series because I was, I was really inspired by this guy named JT Suits on YouTube. I'll pu put a link in his channel down below in the boopy boops and and stuff like that and I was really inspired by his videos of you know his life after the military so I'm thinking about you know kind of rebranding NFAX in that fashion as well and just kind of talking about you know Life, life after the military as well as maybe talk about some stuff that I really couldn't necessarily talk about while I was in the military just because you know it may clash with uh, the Navy's viewpoint and stuff like that so you know definitely definitely look forward to that kind of stuff coming out so uh, when I get back home so and last up on the uh, on the YouTube list although technically not really YouTube -y per se but it'll be the last thing we talk about before we move on to the personal section. And it's my Sleepy Cast Editor Manhunt audition. So, um, a while back I posted my submission to be the new Sleepy Cast Editor. It's my little audition uh, audio clip thingamadoobop. Um, I put it up on uh, my YouTube as well so you can check it out. Just search like Sleepy Cast or something like that. It's, it's up there, so check it out. And, uh, stuff like that so um, I'm really really uh, excited for the uh, for the audition and I hope it goes well um, the deadline for the round one submissions because basically what they're doing is um, they're doing it in like two rounds at least at the time of this recording so a round one submission has already been sent out um, and if they make the cut for round two you know which I hope to make um, then they'll send a longer audio clip and then I'll have to edit that down, and then they'll kind of make the decision from there, hopefully. So, um, nervous, but uh, really excited, and hope to uh, hope to become the new editor of Sleepy Cabin. But you know, I don't want to don't want to get my hopes up. But you know, I'm just you know, I'm just hoping. <laughs> that was kind of redundant, but anyway. So, moving on to personal stuff. First up on the personal stuff is uh, is this week. So um, this week of uh, you know September sixth through the 11th is gonna be my last week out here in Japan so um, it's uh, it's kinda been a long time coming for me you know I was kinda hoping I'd be back in the States a bit a bit sooner just so I could start college this semester but uh, because of the delays in paperwork and stuff not on my end but on admins end you know how it goes um, it got delayed for like almost a month now actually in fact tomorrow will be a month <laughs> since I submitted my paperwork and everything, so yay. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, so I officially got my, uh, my flyout date and everything, so on, the, on September 10th, 2015, I'll be flying out of Japan, going to Washington State to begin the out process, processing, out processing from the military, and then from there back home to Salina, Ohio. So um, basically the out processing uh, process, for lack of a better term, is uh, going to take a, about seven to ten days. So I'm hoping, you know, in the meantime between, you know, appointments and stuff like that, 
that I'll be able to go out in Washington and get you know some cool video and stuff like that just to just to show you guys the area so you know hopefully we'll get something out of it but I'm not sure yet I've never been out that way so who knows but stay tuned so um and like I said, um, not only is this my last week in Japan, but it's also my last week in the Navy. Well, the last two weeks, if you count out processing, but I digress. Anyway, so because of the uh, <clears throat> delays in paperwork, I start uh, at Western Michigan University on January 2016 rather than September 2015 this month. So I had to push it back a, a semester just because of the delay in paperwork and stuff like that. And uh, I was kind of mad about it at first, but then again, it does give me more time to find a place, get myself situated, uh, kind of, you know, rest a little bit, kind of get used to civilian life again, and to better prepare myself for the upcoming semester. So it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, a slight delay, and who knows, maybe good for me. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much all I got for uh, for this month's update, and hopefully before my camera explodes from the overheating, I'm going to sign off. So yeah, this is Andy san Sign up for now. Thanking you guys poop, for tuning in to this very rambly, roundabout sort of uh, update video and watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking, thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.